A new virtual gold rush is underway, and this is the equipment the miners are banking on to make them rich. Bitcoin is a virtual currency that is making headlines, and it's making investors millions of dollars. Others have lost millions at the hands of hackers. Someday, you might be using it. Tonight, Come Before's Matt Markovich takes us into the sometimes seedy world of Bitcoin, including an exclusive tour of one of the largest Bitcoin mines in the world. Okay, sir, what can I get going for you? At the Waffle Stop in Bellingham, customers have a choice. You want a cash card or Bitcoin? I'm going to use Bitcoin today. They take Bitcoin. How much was the waffle? It was uh, 6.4 millibitcoin, and uh, that's about uh, $5. Bitcoin is a digital currency that's flourishing, but grabbing bad headlines. And the website that trades the virtual money collapsed trading. Bitcoin exchanges have been the target of hackers. And Bitcoin has been the currency of choice on black market drug sites like Silk Road. Is there anything you want to tell your side of the story? Silk Road is out of business, brought down after the arrest of a Bitcoin user in Seattle. Even its origins are shrouded in mystery, created by anonymous computer programmer Satoshi Nakamoto, who Newsweek claims is this California man who claims he's not the guy. I have nothing to do with Bitcoin. Yes, sir. Oh, look at that. But Bitcoin is also becoming mainstream. He set a price of 6.4 millibitcoin, yeah. and I scanned the barcode, and that's what I got. Think of it as digital cash. You can't touch it. It's transferred with QR codes from one digital wallet to another instantly. As soon as I hit the send button, went out on the internet, and it was done. There's no bank, no transaction fees. Bitcoin is an amazing idea. And people are making fortunes. We're probably making right now about $8 million a month in Bitcoin. Sounds too good to be true. $8 million a month. It just may be. Bitcoin at 630. To understand Bitcoin, compare it to gold miners trying to find gold before the other guy does. Bitcoin is the same way, but replace the pick and shovel with a computer. Bitcoins are generated all over the internet by anybody running a free application called a Bitcoin miner. Most miners are probably earning fractions of Bitcoins. Eric Elliott is a small miner, just one computer. There's not really much technical know-how that you need apart from being able to keep a computer up running 24-7, but you don't have to be a programmer. When he started in 2011, he earned one Bitcoin a day. At the time, it was worth about 20 bucks. But now the math is harder, and like gold, Bitcoin's harder to mine and find. But its value has skyrocketed from 20 bucks in 2011 to over $1,000 in December. Now that got your attention. People often say, Bitcoin is a bubble, and I agree with that. Economics professor Philip Bond says Bitcoin won't be accepted as a true currency unless the volatility settles down. In some way, all currency is a bubble because all currency you're only holding because of what you expect to get for it tomorrow. And that's the promise of tomorrow that has Dave Carlson. Wow. <laughs> Here it is. Going big, really big. That's impressive. This is a rare, exclusive, behind-the-scenes look at one of the biggest Bitcoin mining operations ever. It's the largest mine in North America and most of the rest of the world. The computing power is immense, one petahash. It's uh, 1,000 trillion calculations per second. Two warehouses with racks of thousands of specially designed digital mining rigs. Or on each one of these boards, there are a set of chips. Uh, each one of those is the one, the individual chip calculating Bitcoin. So the, the concept is, the more miners, the more chances of finding that yes, right equation. Exactly. Yeah. There, there's a bit of, uh, of luck and statistics involved. The amount of electricity you're using can run a city, well, I, a yeah, town. I, certainly, uh, you know, we're, we're at about 1.4 megawatts. And that's why he set up in eastern Washington, where power is stable and cheap. Mega miners like Dave need to cut costs. You can't help but feel the heat. Yeah, it's crazy. We agreed to keep his location a secret because he's making a lot of money. Are you doing okay? Oh, yeah, I'm doing fantastic. <laughs> yeah, I'm a smiling guy right now. When we were there, he said his rigs were making $8 million worth of Bitcoin a month. In the Bitcoin world, that's a staggering amount. This is speculation. It's really not, not much different than any other gold rush in our history. And then and we're absolutely running as fast as we can to grow. But here's the miner's dilemma. When do you translate that into dollars? Compound that with recent news that Mt. Gox in Japan, an exchange that converts bitcoins to dollars, was hacked and shut down. Investors lost nearly a half a billion dollars. Okay, cash card or bitcoin? 
Despite the bad news, Bitcoin will still be accepted at the Waffle Stop. That we believe in the system. They're banking Bitcoin will be digital gold. We will definitely be back with our Bitcoin. Matt Markovich, Como 4 News. And experts say the best way to get Bitcoin is to buy it at a Bitcoin exchange. Mining has just become too difficult. And last check, one Bitcoin was trading at $670. To think I have trouble balancing my checkbook. I'm <laughs> telling you. All right.